The Young Architects Award is given to architects who have been licensed to practice fewer than 10 years and have shown outstanding leadership. I'd like to take a moment to add my personal thoughts about the issues faced by young architects today. I had the honor of hosting the Emerging Professional Summit this past January, and I was most impressed by the aptitude and talent of these young people. I'm also very proud of the work being done by the Young Architects Forum and the YAF Advisory Committee. Both of these programs support one of the AIA's most important missions to inspire professional growth among recently licensed architects and advocate on their behalf. How could we do any less? These young architects are vibrant, bright professionals, essential to the profession now and into the future. Let's see some of their accomplishments. I actually got into architecture initially because I thought it would be fun. Architecture is really about discovery. Helping clients solve their problems. Bringing people together. ILIA represents the incredible value that architects offer to the public through community engagement. One project he led was the Changing Room. This was a wonderful project for Lower Manhattan Cultural Council, and this idea was to look at these sort of disoccupied spaces in Lower Manhattan. And the fascinating thing was we had this empty space, and we did a different installation each week. We took donated materials and materials from the arts, which is an organization that recycles or upcycles materials. And Anya photographed artists in the space, as well as people who came by. The community began to come together, and shopkeepers began to see one another and know we want another. People who lived in the neighborhood began to come down and see the installations and it created uh, a nexus. Brad utilizes his role as an architect to give back and founded a firm based on the principles of the Public Architecture's 1% program. I believe all architects should be involved in some sort of pro bono design work in their professional careers. It's frequently the people who can benefit the most from our services are the ones who have the most limited access to them. One of Josh's signature accomplishments was organizing Redefining Design, which brought together students, interns, and young architects over groundbreaking programs that are creating social change and better communities through design. I became a licensed attorney and then within a few months went back and finished my exam to become a registered architect. I've been very inspired by all the young architects across the country that I've had the opportunity to meet who are doing exciting things. Wyatt has a unique curiosity about the world and he takes every day with his colleagues as a learning experience, aiming to improve his work and the built environment. And it's that curiosity that has driven me to constantly explore new ideas and really to uh, find people who are a lot smarter than myself to, to work with, because each project in that way becomes an education. Nathan uses design to communicate to others the potential of their community. He proves that architects can be engaged leaders and instigators of change for the next generation of professionals. I became an architect, probably like a lot of us, because I, I wanted to make a difference. What I didn't understand is how much impact one or a few architects can really have on the built environment. Evelyn is a forward-thinking individual who has worked tirelessly to create positive change for emerging professionals and speak to the public about the role of architects. Uh, another reason why I became an architect was then I could talk to the public as an architect about the abilities that architects have um, that goes well beyond just building new buildings. Timothy has demonstrated exceptional leadership in all aspects of his young professional career with service to his profession and his community. Timothy is a member of the board of United Cerebral Palsy of Arkansas and has designed transitional homes for their clients, which, to date, have helped 22 people move out of institutional care and into independent living quarters. He truly defines the way architects can contribute positively to the built environment. Daniel is devoted to leveraging evidence-based methods to improve architecture practice. But for me personally, the most satisfying aspect of being an architect is 
the uh, capacity to do something good, to uh, influence the outcome of issues that are affecting local communities, uh, broader regions, uh, built environment, the natural environment, uh, just that general all-around service. Mark helps deepen public understanding of architecture. He makes the connection between the culture of architecture and the larger world, getting the various design disciplines to work and think together, and most importantly, bringing the public into these discussions. Michael has a strong sense of civic duty and community service, even as he balances projects across four continents and 26 cities. He is a role model for the younger architects in his firm. Early on in my career, at SOM, I made a commitment to, to myself to assist the firm in more community outreach programs. Design is one aspect of architecture. We're working uh, with Habitat for Humanity, we're working with uh, Rebuilding Together. Jason's ethic is an example of how strong organizational skills, tireless perseverance, and strategic thinking can make consequential differences in the lives of others. I've always been curious as to why our landscape looks and functions the way that it does. As an architect, I have an opportunity to not only understand it, but learn from it, and then help shape and improve it. Mark is part of a collaborative effort to prepare future generations for a career in architecture. Uh, a couple of Gensler colleagues and myself are working with Convergence Academies and Archieworks at a uh, local high school and we're transforming a classroom into a, a, an iLab or digital atelier space for the students. It's going to transform that learning environment for the students beyond uh, the traditional classroom. That is where the power of design uh, really comes to life. Matt's work in the community and commitment to mentorship make him a true citizen architect with a strong focus on sustainability. I'm most interested in creating overt sustainability such as wind turbines, water reclamation, things that students and users can see and feel and touch and, and start to understand what sustainability really means. As Dean, Christian instills civic leadership in his students to help prepare them for the increasingly complex role architects will play. So we're constantly thinking about the role of architecture in shaping public space and it creates environments for us to collaborate. It brings people together to talk about why architecture matters, why the design of cities matter. Lorena believes in design as a catalyst for improving diversity in architecture, and she is a paragon for future servant leaders. Her group, Latinas in Architecture, organized from an architect's bookshelf, which opens the world of architecture to middle schoolers. On the day the books are delivered, they hear from our stories on how we went to college, how we chose a career, and how we're able to practice a fulfilling one. This is Leah's way of paying it forward. Brian's approach to design revolves around engaging the user. And I think that word engagement is important. And when you talk about what defines you as an architect, I think what I always want to do is with the buildings that we do here is I want to engage the people who either use them or walk by them. For me, being an architect is really to try and capture that feeling. Karen is an energetic professional who strives to enhance her community and the profession. She is involved in several organizations which work to inspire young people in Orlando to take advantage of all the opportunities for their future. By bringing her skills and passions to these programs, she is an active participant in shaping the future of the community and the profession. This is what we need to do as architects to make a better world. We need to go out and share our knowledge with our communities, serve on boards, go into schools, teach people about how great being an architect is. And I'd like to give a shout out to one of our young architects, Jeffrey Yarazawa, who does this in Portland, his community. Jeff demonstrates exemplary leadership in the design profession. He is committed to fostering a deeper understanding of architecture in our lives. I think where we can uh, contribute even more is to be more vocal and be more visible in our communities and help those around us understand what the value of uh, design is and how it can help transform people's lives for the better. To create a better world through architecture, we need to do two things really well, observing and listening. And we need to take a leading role as architects to promote sustainability, good design, 
preservation of communities. A lot of us have visions about what our communities could be or probably should be. We need more architects in positions of leadership so that we can achieve innovation and push our profession forward. I'm honored to be in such great company. You all have inspired me. Training the next generation and learning from the generations ahead of us is uh, extremely important to me and that's how architecture will carry on. Their citation will read, the American Institute of Architects is privileged to confer this award given to individuals who have shown exceptional leadership and made significant contributions to the profession in an early stage of their architectural career. Welcome the AIA's Young Architect Award recipients, Ilya Azaroff, AIA, Thomas Bradley Benjamin, AIA, Joshua Flowers, AIA, is unable to be here, Wyatt Brantum, AIA, Nathan Callaher, AIA, Evelyn M. Lee, AIA, Timothy W. Maddox, AIA, Daniel Overby, AIA, Mark Pasnick, AIA, is unable to join us, Michael P. Pepper, AIA, Jason Dale Pierce, AIA, Mark A. Schwammel, AIA, Matt Slagle, AIA, Christian B. Sotil, AIA, Lorena Toffer, AIA, Brian Vitale, AIA, Karen E. Williams, AIA, and Jeffrey Irazabal, AIA.